Hello learners, welcome to the English language classroom. Here we will discuss and learn various aspects and components of the English language. Get ready as you watch, listen, react and reflect as you learn the English language. Today's lesson is developing writing skills. We will focus on article writing. We will understand what an article is and the processes involved in writing an article. After going through this writing lesson, you will be able to understand the different stages of writing an article, to think, reflect and gather ideas for writing, to write first draft and improve upon it by adding ideas further, to edit the language errors and improve language use of the write-up and lastly, to finalize the draft into final writing. Let's begin with understanding article writing. Friends, you must have come across some article or other in the daily newspapers. Haven't you? Take a look at one article from a newspaper here. Looks familiar, isn't it? This is how an article looks like. What does a writer write in an article? If you look closely, you would find some interesting things. An article is always on a particular theme or an idea. It presents information and also makes an argument. It analyzes the problems discussed in the article. It offers solutions to the problem. It needs to objectively present both the pros and cons of an issue or a problem. Now, Let's try and write an article on the following topic. Here is the Swachh Bharat pledge which advocates for clean and healthy India. I will read out now the Swachh Bharat pledge for you. Mahatma Gandhi dreamt of an India which was not only free but also clean and developed. Mahatma Gandhi secured freedom for Mother India. Now it is our duty to serve Mother India by keeping the country neat and clean. I take this pledge that I will remain committed towards cleanliness and devote time for this. I will devote 100 hours per year, that is 2 hours per week, to voluntarily work for cleanliness. I will neither litter nor let others litter. I will initiate the quest for cleanliness with myself, my family, my locality, my village and my workplace. I believe that the countries of the world that appear clean are so because their citizens don't indulge in littering, nor do they allow it to happen. With this firm belief, I will propagate the message of Swachh Bharat mission in villages and towns. I will encourage 100 other persons to take this pledge which I am taking today. I will endeavour to make them devote their hundred hours for cleanliness. I am confident that at every step I take towards cleanliness will help in making my country clean. Did you listen to the pledge closely? Can you now put your ideas together to write an article for a newspaper on the need for keeping our surroundings neat and clean? Let's see how we can start. First. Let us gather ideas. Jotting down of ideas is the first and foremost step. We can include the following points. So why cleanliness? For clean environment, healthy life, protection of environment. The next point could be breeding of diseases. Why are people not keeping their surroundings clean? Throwing dust wherever one wants, use of plastic, what could be done to stop this? Teach young children about the need for cleanliness. Ban the use of plastics. You can also mention the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan that is going on right now. And you can also state the punishment to polluters. Now let's write the outline. The first paragraph can begin with need for cleanliness. Keeping our surrounding clean is essential for a healthy life. We have not simply inherited the planet Earth from our ancestors, but we have borrowed it for our future generations. 
You can also write about unclean environment that are breeding mosquitoes, resulting in viral diseases, causes infections, health hazards, etc. We can move further to the second paragraph and add the following details. We need to keep our environment clean by not throwing garbage in public place. Build and use toilet in every home. Plastic causes pollution. The next point could be unclean environment causes trouble as people are falling sick with viral fever like dengue, chikungunya, malaria, etc. You can also write about unclean environment causes trouble as people are falling sick with viral fever like dengue, chikungunya, malaria, etc. And you can add with how to keep the environment clean. The third paragraph can include the following points. Why are people not keeping their surroundings clean? Throwing dust wherever one wants, use of plastics. What could be done to stop this? Teach young children about the need for cleanliness, that cleanliness should be a part of school curriculum. You can add ban the use of plastics and write about Swachh Bharat Abhiyan, that is a social movement. You can also move to punishment to polluters. The third paragraph provides suggestions and a positive closure. After the outline that you have drawn, let's write the first draft. Now we need to read the outline and develop into paragraphs. At least three. You have got outline for three paragraphs above. You may begin like this. However, this is not the one and only way of writing. You can write in any way you would like to. But remember, the major points that you have outlined above should be there. You may add as many points as possible. The first draft is followed by the second draft which includes improving the first draft in terms of organizing ideas and making it coherent. By coherent, I mean deciding which idea could come first and which one will go next. Trying and correcting grammatical errors, however, you will finalize the second draft into the final one with the serious language editing. We can now head towards writing the final draft. To prepare the final draft, you need to reread the second draft and finalize it now. The second draft more or less will have all the ideas. Now you need to correct the idea See if all the paragraphs are well connected. We can now head towards writing the final draft. To prepare the final draft, you need to reread the second draft and finalize it now. The second draft more or less will have all the ideas. Now you need to correct the idea and see if all the paragraphs are well connected and related to each other. You can add new and innovative ideas and read it thoroughly and bring in coherence. You also need to give an attractive title to your article and lastly finalize it. The next stage is language editing. It is now time for thorough language editing including grammatical mistakes, errors, spelling mistakes, punctuation marks and so on needs to be thoroughly checked. You may read and reread and read again if needed before finalizing it. Now it's time to finalize the final draft. Incorporate all the language errors to make the draft into a final one. We may recall whatever we have done to write an article for a newspaper and the processes involved in writing. You can now see a table where the processes and what needs to be done in those processes is given for a quick recap. In the table, you see the processes written on the left side and what needs to be done is on the right side. This is writing the process approach. So the first stage of writing 
is brainstorming. In brainstorming, as we have discussed, you jot down as many ideas as you can about a given topic and then arrange the ideas in a sequence. The second stage is outlining. In outlining, you create an outline of your writing. Which ideas will go first? How will they be supported by evidence? Will there be a picture, etc. Then comes drafting. So while writing the first draft, you need to focus on the content, not on the form. The next stage is revising. Revise the first draft, improve it, add or delete ideas and improve the language. The next step is language editing or proofreading. Proofread the draft with the help of the teacher. Here, the focus is on the form and again, not on the content. Then comes the final draft. You can now write the final draft. Learners, there must be some questions in your mind about this process-based approach to writing. They may include, how can I spend lot of time to write one article? Well, when we are learning to write an article or a letter or any other formal writing, we need to get the training to write. Undergoing this process will make you a good writer later. The next question that may come in your mind is, how can I undergo all these processes while writing in a test or in an examination? In a test or in an examination, you need not do all this. You could have undergone this kind of process in your classroom. However, in an examination, you need to spend some time, say 5 minutes, in making an outline and then write the final article or essay. Since you have done a lot of practice, it would not be a problem. Now, you've got the idea of how to write an article by gathering ideas, making an outline, developing the first draft, the second draft, bringing in coherence, developing the final draft, language editing and so on. So here's a little work for you. Can you now write an article on the following topics? You may adopt the processes suggested. The first article you can write is on, you come across the news that slight rain is causing traffic jam and chaos in big cities and small towns. You feel the need for educating people on the problem and on how to behave during the monsoon. Write an article for a newspaper using the processes we have just discussed. The second topic you can take is, you feel that the examinations have become an instrument for stress and trauma for children in school and at the university. Write an article about the problems of examination-centric learning and teaching in schools. The questions are displayed on your screen. With this, we close our today's lesson. Thank you for being with us. Happy writing!